very much. I'm not going to take time, but I'm going to teach about the power and the benefit of fasting. The power and the benefit of fasting. Because there are them that fast just to fast. Some of them, they don't have food. So they are going compulsory. This one, we have meat. We have everything in the house. But we want to surrender. And also to show God uh, that we want the inner man Amen. to grow fat Hallelujah. than outer man. Amen. <laughs> Maida mala mona ala ni mama to mire uri akora we will finish amen the power and the benefit of fasting i thank god for them that came with the notebooks pens are ready to run because whatever is written cannot be diverted. So teach yourself, whenever you are coming in the house of God, carry your notebook. This one word can save you all the years. This one word can make you not to be manipulated. Because those people who used to go to Shakahora, if they had a servant of God like Bishop with the Saudi doctrine, they could not die. And that's why I want to show you and to teach you the true fasting and the benefit of fasting. Pastor Teresa, God bless you. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 16 to 18. Matthew chapter 6 verse 16 to 18. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance. For they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Mm -hmm. Assuredly, I say to you, mm. they have their reward. Uh -huh. But when you fast, mm -hmm. anoint your head and mm -hmm. wash your face, mm -hmm. so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, mm -hmm. but to your father who is in the secret place. Mm -hmm. And your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Praise be the name of God. Amen. Qualification number one, Pauline. What are we supposed to do when we are fasting? I'm asking you, Tisha Porin. Because Reverend has done it, and I don't want you people to do vice versa. If you have not heard Pastor Teresa, what have I said? What the Bible said, when we are fasting, first and foremost, what are we supposed to do? We should not be sad. We should not show people, even they are to an extent, they are asking you, are you sick? Once we wake up in the morning, wake up, moswagi, kwamdomo. Ikia bafu, bana yesu asifiwe. Oga sawa sawa. Shukua mafuta yako ujipake. Iri unapo omba kwa siri. God hate hypocrisy. You remember one person and he was a hypocrite. Those prayers, God cannot hand them. And especially when you are fasting, if it can be possible. And that's why tuko na nyumba na tuko na madhabau. Come here to the altar. Don't disturb neighbors. Don't let people know that you are fasting. Because when you let people to know that you are fasting, there are those who are jealous. They will attack your prayers. So cross your eyes, put on vizuri, weka tumafuta, enda bere sabwana. Bwana yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo tumekata uchafu, Katika mao, Maombi. ambia mweza kwa hatutaki uchafu hatutaki uchafu Na usinuke makopa uh -huh. Eh, hey, unajua kuna wanajiashiria tu Because mwiri hiko, haiko sawa Makopa inatupa kama ya busi Nina tangasa kwa jina na yesu Muoge na mweke nini Ulisa mweza kwa unanuka eh? Na kama ukona, you know Do you know kuna watu specifically Ata aoge aoge wapi wamewekewa evil smell by the devil and that's why tunakuanga na one on one kwa sababu hapa siwezi nikaita atako ya kukuhaibisha lakini ukikuja pale nitakuoge nitakuombea nitakufanyia ibanda na hiyo harufu itaondoka na haita hata aoge kuna maarufu kama tano reverend miaka hii 17 nimehubiri nimekutana na mambo Unapata mtu wamependana, they are hore, they are righteous. Little did they know, mahali familia wametoka, there is an evil smell from that family. So whenever you say, yes, I do, and they go to honeymoon, little ninapata simu ya mzee. Hey, ma'am. Hey, ile arubu inatoka hava. Kama ni siku ya guanza, siku ya guanza. If you know in your foundation, ama unabiangu anawatu maramingi unakomodi, you get that, be. 
That is a spirit. That is an altar. Come for deliverance. I will pray for you. I will break that altar because that is an evil smell that will bring rejection. Ata umuagiriwe mafuta. Ata upigwe na bibiria. Ata ufa. Ata wewe mwenyewe. Niwe gona wewe oge sheka kani uteaga. Tori oshogi. Niwe menyaga. Eh? Niwe menyaga. Evil smell is an altar and it is sponsored by evil altars from our father's house because of what they did. Mungu akaurushia harufu bae. I shake it off. I shake it off. I shake it off. Hmm. Tumeambiwa, but when you fast, anoint your hand and wash your face so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but your father who is in, his, in secret places, and your father who seems in secret will reward you openly. Appreciate Reverend Royce. I'm to Pereka Vizuri Sana. Appreciate praise and worship. Thank you so much, Shiko, for being there every Wednesday. But let now this Wednesday and this year become a different. Huh? Don't be like a Hannah who used to go Shiro every year. Write it down, your prayer request and you bring it here to the Eri and I'm going to give it to God. Amen. Don't live today without writing down. This is my prayer request. Hold it very well. Bring it to me and God will answer in Jesus mighty name. What is fasting? Fasting is willing to Ob obtaining is willingly obtaining from God and other pressures so that you can focus on prayers, Bible study, and meditation of good words. When you fast, you, your outward man is affected because he is not getting food. I wish Sami concentrate so that you also concentrate and you take your Bible. You take your pen, now we are running. Sitaki musiki semeni hatutaki, tunataka usome. When you fast, your outward man is afflicted because he is not getting food. But your inward man is being renewed and strengthened. The affliction of, the affliction of fasting produces the glory of God in you. Second Corinthians. From verses 4. 16 to 17. Chapter 4 from verses 4 to 16. 17. Se Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 to 17. Mm. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Mm -hmm. Even though our outward man is perishing, mm -hmm. yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. How many are fasting? How many are in true fasting? In true, don't lie. God knows. Because if you are a diabetes, we forget to say that. If you are in a medication, diet wisely. Uh, fast wisely. If you are breastfeeding, also you look for reverend, he is going to tell you how you are supposed to do. So we should not fast like foolish. That you fast dry, 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 seeking God that you don't know. To me, I forgot mm -hmm. Verse 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far much exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Praise be the name of God. Amen. Benefit of prayers with the fasting. Benefit of prayers with the fasting. Fasting brings divine direction and divine clarification from God. Have I talked? Fasting brings divine direction and define clarification from God. This is your time. This is your season. This is your day. Maybe you have been thinking of an issue. You have been planning so many things. And the Bible says uh, many are our plans. But it is only the plan of God. Which can do what? Which can succeed? You are in a status of confusion. And I will say this without fear. Neither contradiction. Why I love fasting? Because through fasting, mwereo yokora gwani odirete, mwodo wana dhenye neigu waga gai, na gai niyo kaga hede dea, we higete korea na konywa, niyo geaga na direction ya maudomari ore dagweka. Sometimes when you do not 
know which direction to take or which decision to make and engage in fasting release the divine direction and clarification of God from that issue. When the prophets and teachers in Antioch fasted, the Holy Spirit gave divine direction for Paul and Barnabas to go and preach in the city of Cyrus. Fasting gives you divine direction. You may look as if you are a mad. You may look as if umepagawa. But when you seek the direction of God through prayer and fasting and telling God, this is my mountain. I am at my head. I am in a status of confusion. I am in a fire of dry bone. Appear God. Come and speak to me. I am being... Eh? I've been proposed by Kamau, Joroge, Moigai, Kiyoko, Kipsumba, Girimagoria. Murukomen, Moses, Mana Lord, the the Wanaka, Vila Mimi in Ataka. But what is your will? Which is my rib? Was a babu of Arua Mutu, Sioro Sheke, Sioro Kuhe, Rovaruaku, Rona Koiganaga, Unamabia Mugusasa Nimekuja, you have a pastor, Pastor Nani, where the Amazrishi were of Aru. Which is this Rofaru, the Lord? And I'm not going to come out of... I remember there was a time for me to start this ministry. I used to hate to be a pastor because I used to see how pastors go through poverty, how pastors are hated, how pastors are the rusty people to speak. So I used to tell God, no, 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 no. Son used to say, no, no. I say, no. But... Without going back, because you know my history, you know everything. When everything came to an end, I told God, I've come back to this mountain. Whether it is a hundred years that I will finish here, if you will not talk, I will not come out of this. And if you will talk and you give me the proper direction, God, I know and I know you speak to me. And when I went and I was asking God, go the kogwe katia. Because the same same praise is the praise that he told me, Anashukua, Akanipatia, two bottles of anointing oil for ministry. The, the direction of God has no confusion. Because at that time, you have totally surrendered to God. Mwere Doragwada, na mwere na nikiotorero, to submit mwere wito. Akorore yaga madadi matato, le yaga le mwe, negada mudo anadhenie, akage yaga na kedo. Menishika. Oh yes. Acts chapter 13 from verses 1 to 4. Acts 13 verse 1 to 4. Now in the church that was at Antioch, there were certain prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niga, Lucas of Cyrene, Manain, who had been brought up with Herod the Tacriot, and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit said... As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, there are some decisions you cannot make by yourself. You have to go before God with the soundness. Now, usipagawe, you want to say what you want to say, mugu amasema, alikuambi alini, na unambiwa ukikura nyama, Every doctrine that has, every prophecy that has no holiness and cleanliness, that is what we call familiar spirits. And that's why you see so many people, even with the turban, they prophesy. But that is not the prophecy from God. Those are an clean spirit and they resort to be familiar or occultism. Verse 2. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate for me Barnabas the and The Holy Saul. Spirit said, Can I tell you something? This year is a year of separation. Amen. There are people you have walked with them. There are people who know you in and out. And they have become idolatries to your blessing. And you love them so much. And you have a lot of in touch with them. But the moment... You'll go before God. Today we were praying against the spirit of pride. Pray.
praised be the name of God. Amen. And when you will go before God, that is when God will speak to you and he will tell you separate from this person. Amen. There are some friends you will not see with me with this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Same case applies to me. Sema ata mimi mungu. Ata mimi mungu. Aki mungu ni ondore. Mungu ni ondore. Aki mungu ni ondore. Aki mungu ni ondore. Watu wa shio na faida. Watu wa shio na faida. Marafiki wa nothing. Marafiki wanakupenda kwa sababu kuna mahali utawapereka. Mm. Marafiki wanakupenda kwa sababu wanakutumia vibaya. Yes. Marafiki wanakupenda kwa sababu uko na jina. Mm. Nimetangaza In kwa jina la Yesu. Jina langu halitakuliwa na maadui. Amen. Mafuta yangu haitakuliwa na maadui. Amen. God must separate yes. you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A year of separation. Amen. A year of separation. Amen. Because two cannot work together unless they agree. Unakuja hapa kanisa unapata rafiki yako. Eh hey, mumako waondoke na waende kwa jina la Yesu. Mhm. Verse 2. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, "Now separate from me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them." Then, having fasted and prayed, they laid hands on them and they sent them away. Mm -hmm. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia. And from there, they sailed to Cyprus. I decree and declare that this fasting will also bring fruit in the house of God. Amen. Because we are going to evangelize as we separate with the any evil passion that has been hindering our move, that has been hindering our prayers. I release an anointing of evangelism. Amen. You will touch so many people. Amen. People will love God. Amen. Because there are some testimonies who will come out of you. Oh, yes. And people will say, surely, I want you a God. Amen. So this is a year of evangelism. Amen. Once we separate. Hallelujah. Number two. Fasting help you to conquer stubborn demon and spirit in your life. Fasting helps you to conquer stubborn demons and spirit in your life. Certain spirit powers and evil authors cannot leave you your life when you are eating three meals a day. They will only go when you fast and pray. Fasting release the fire of God inside of you that help, help you cast out demons from your life. Matthew Chapter 17 from verse 18 to 21. Matthew 17, 18 to 21. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and he came out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast him out? So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, mm -hmm. you will say to this mountain, mm -hmm. move from here to there, mm -hmm. and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Mm -hmm. However, this kind does not go except by prayer and fasting. Light down that circle. That issue which has been repeating itself upon your life. You have taken it to the prophet. You have raised sacrifices. You have done so many things. This time loud, purpose, purpose to pray and fast against and rebuke it and mention it. Write it down that issue. Write it down that kind of a demon that has been resisting, that has been mocking you, that has been waiting for your success, that has been waiting you to plant. When you are about to harvest that demon, I put the Yahweh slippery. In the mighty name, light it down. That demon in family, spirit of resistance, whatever <coughs> is in your family yes. that has been resisting, I release the grace to in fast. In the name of Jesus. I release the grace in to the fast. Name of fast Jesus. for it and rebuke oh, yes. it. And it will go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, fasting brings divine intervention from God. Fasting brings divine intervention from God. It is very shameful to go and ask for help from your enemies who mock you. Maybe you live in a place where there are people who don't know God. You are always Wednesday in church, Sunday in church. You are a Sunday school teacher. But when they look at you, they disfire you, you are God. The only way to overcome that kind of a spirit 
The only way to overcome that kind of mockery is by prayer and fasting. When your faith is being tested and shame is standing before you, fast and pray for God's intervention. Welcome, Pastor Florence. We love you so much. Ezra was ashamed of asking for help from, <coughs> from a pagan king who did not believe in God. He fasted and asked God for divine intervention, and God answered his prayers. Ezra chapter 8, from verses 21 to 23. Ezra chapter 8, verse 21 to 23. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahava, that we might humble ourselves before our God, Hallelujah. to seek him for the right way, for us and our little ones and all our possessions. Mm -hmm. For I was ashamed. I was ashamed. There was a time, Leverett. Yes. This word of God really helped me. When we are in Rodibari, there was a time the rent accumulated to 30,000. So I did not have anything and I did not have money. So there was a certain man who came to visit. Sasa akaona zile shida tukonazo. Na akaniambia ninafikiria tu kikubali Kenya nataka kukuambia hii deni ya kanisa itaondoka nikamuliza hao kaniambia nataka sade moja ukuje tuende na huku makoyo tuhubiri at least eh, na jumi niko na shida mimi nikaasha kanisa tukaenda tukahubiri tukirudi nikaanza kuona the way this man is me I was not responding by the way me I'm very principled Akarudi akaona uyu, uyu mama ni mujinga na uyu mama hata saidika. Haka niadikia shek, likuwa fake ya that case. Kuipereka, ikaruka. Kaenda kumtafuta, likuwa na uko, na uko, i, 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 mlango wake, nikasikia kitu ikaniambia, haufai kufuata uyu mtu. Uyu mtu, alikufuata kwa ule ushuda, ulimpatia. Uyu mtu alikufuata Kwa sababu aliona mgu wako. Kwa nini unanihaibisha? Rudi na utakapa rudi mungu akanipea hii neno. I love this word in the book of Ezra. Ebu isome. This is where I gotten that word. Shek is fake. The man is after me. He wanted me to and akikuja alikuwa meniambia. Alikuwa menisikia for a certain station. Nikiongea about weed. Na nilipongea about weed. Kuna pesa zake silikuwa simefungiwa. Na hiyo weed, ikampereka pesa zake sikapatikana. Sasa, kama alinisikia, na sasa ninamfuata, na ninamkibisha shuare, I find myself a shaming God. I decree a declare. Oh, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Motiko inamere na akari day. Amen. Motiko lehero wa manyoba ni akari day. Amen. Mata agiadu onegai. Oh, yes. Totigo sheja ni akere ya tuwe na kio. Na nemoe ne to hono kete. Mm. Nemoe ne to regai. Oh, yes. Nemoe ne to higaga. Yes. Ezara, adi etako hoyo te idio. Kore mo vama kio yo moru. Nore ya kinyire ya keririkana. Ore ya naganera. Mother Makio yo na nikio itare dada go sonori dia wera wa gai. Nikio itare dada go ekahara be kanida. Nikio itare dada ku anani ate to tire. To do gai yo le ato hujagia. Ona shio mato di kagereria. Ona shio mato horaga. Ona shio mato edaga. Mato edaga mona liri wa gai wito. Da ho ya liri wa gai do kana de gai goro dia ku. Da na ho ya do kana go wa go he. Do kana di eto nyo bato a ho ikona. Do kana di eke na fui na go sonori dia gai. Oh, yes. Todo ne tole na gai. Amen. Ne tole na gai. Amen. Mungu wali nitokezea na ineno. Yeah. Na kutoka hapo nikafanya about ten. Na nikasema like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Even if atakama mungu. Iyo nyumba haita lipo. Yes. Digwe dahia. Amen. Digwe tukania. Amen. Diko dairi uti kiugo kirea modoyo araigwine. Giuga tene korero huharotoma guwane gai. Oh, yes. Mwadha ni daumire. Industrial area kogoro. 
na rohu na 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 rokogo rware runene muno gukinya mucio go thutha wa thiko igire besa ciari cia muthuri wa kwa ciaikarite handu muno ngiterwo ni muthuri ngiri igana rimwe na hindi ucio ndekaga tare milioni ni tondu ni kuri ngai tutagashonora uga mwathani ngai ndigashonorithia maguta na ndigashonorithia uiro ri adutaga ona ingigaikio irima rena mwaki rena Rodi, ona igega sano rivia, bere ya buroti, muadani diga sano rivia maguta, inua mikono yako. Inua mikono yako yes, Akimuabie mungu sita haipisha Na sita goa goera Wakaridei kwa sababu ya shakure ya siku moja Ama masomo ya watoto wangu Baba sita kuhaipisha Na sita haipisha ushuda Sita haipisha maneno ambao ni natolea watu Nikiwambia ya kwamba unaweza Nikiwambia ya kwamba wewe ni mungu Nikiwambia ya kwamba wewe ni mutakatibu Sita haipisha mafuta Nimeweka agano na wewe kama jinsi Joshua yes, ulimweke agano ukamwambia Joshua sitahaibisha mafuta baba hatutahaibisha wokofu yes. na hatutahaibisha mafuta Amen. in the name of Jesus clap for the lord hallelujah mm -hmm. verse 22 for i was ashamed to request of the king an escort of soldiers and mm -hmm. horsemen mm -hmm. to help us against the enemy on the road imagine because we had spoken to the king saying, the hand of our God is upon all those who do good mm -hmm. and those who seek him. Mm -hmm. But his power and his wrath are against all those who forsake him. Mm -hmm. So we fasted and entreated our God for this and he answered our prayer. Praise be the name of God. Amen. Ezra came back to his senses. What am I asking to this other king? And we have heavenly king. And I have been testifying of how this Heavenly King has been so good unto us. The only thing that we are going to do, we are going to proclaim our fasting so that our enemies, God will fight for our enemies. And my enemies are God's enemies. Amen. Your enemies are God's enemies. If you can only follow the right way, oh, yes. if you can only be righteous, oh, yes. you are not there to go and ask for help yes. from them that hate God, yes. from prostitutes, from bar, from anywhere, from all of us. I pray even for your children oh, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As long as you are connected with this altar, oh, yes. your children will not die premature death. Amen. You are not, your children will not be killed. Amen. Our God is God of covenant. When Solomon sinned against God by marrying the wife of foreigners, God stood because he is a covenant. Me, I know, and I know, and I know, and I know my children will not suffer premature death. Amen. They will not enter into accident because I have a strong covenant with God. God appeared to Solomon and told Solomon, I, uh, you have done a very bad thing on my eyes, but because of my love with your father David, and because you are jealous of God and you are full of revenge, you told Solomon, I'm not going to revenge for you, but unto your generation, we also stand to the generation of our children for the sake of the anointing, for the sake of the covenant, for the sake of serving you, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Some of you, we are, we are suffering because of not the sin we sinned, but because of the sins that our father sinned, because of the sin that our mother sinned, and they are no longer there. Other went to seek witchcraft, and we were not there. Others committed the other terrorists. Others, we are born from witchcraft. Our father and our mother went to borrow a seed from the altar of witchcraft. We keep on going through issues. I stand here, Father, pleading the blood, pleading the blood. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I don't know where yes, I came Lord. from. If any punishment yes, that I'm going through yes, as the result of my yes, forefather, Jesus. my mother, yes, my father, Lord, yes, Lord. deliver me now. Deliver me now. Deliver me now. Deliver me now.
and to my children. Yes, Lord. Protect them, Father. Yes, Father. Preserve them, O yes, God. Lord. Hide them, dear yes, Father. Father. Under the canopy of, of your glory. Yes, Every parent yes, that Lord. is listening to yes, me, Jesus. maybe in your family, there are some things uh, which you are done uh, yes, when Lord. you are not present. Uh, mm. And those things, uh, yes, they are like a pattern. Yes, they are like Lord. a circle. Yes, they are Lord. there yes, standing Lord. for you. Yes, I face it to them. 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 I overturn them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Am I teaching? Oh, yes. Are you getting something? Oh, yes. We serve a good God. Amen. Number four. First thing, destroy evil yokes. Somebody look for my... It's not doing fine. I dread the red. You are the... I want this message to go all over the nation. I want even those people who follow Kaidre and share and share, and God will bless you. But I know our media people are recording. First thing, destroy evil yokes. Break heavy burdens and remove the circle of oppression. When you are coming through circle of debt, poverty, sickness, evil dreams, limitation, and ancestral curses, and engage in prayer and fasting, and destroy those demonic bondage in your life. Isaiah 58 and verses 6. Isaiah 58 verse number 6. Is this not the first I have chosen to lose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Glory to God. So if there is any yoke, any burden, any curse, any generation, Isaiah 58, and first is key, be your prayer point. Things to avoid. Things to avoid when do, during fasting and prayers. Avoid arguments. Avoid arguments. Learn. Conflict. Strife. Wars. And demonic debate. And unhealthy politics. Isaiah 58 from verse 4. Isaiah 58 verse 4. Indeed you fast for strife and debate, and to strike with the feast of wickedness. You will not fast as you do so this day, to make your voice heard on high. Number two, avoid show and hypocrisy. Avoid what? Show off and hypocrisy. How can we avoid show off and hypocrisy, Reverend? Humbling yourself, mm -hmm. hiding yourself, mm -hmm. anointing yourself with oil, yes. washing your face and with And smiling oil. always. Don't be weak. Matthew 6, 16 and 18. Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your father who is in the secret place. And your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Praise be the name of God. Luke chapter 18, 11 and verses 12. Luke chapter 18, verse 11 to 12. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank you that I am not like other men. Uh -huh. Extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Imagine, hypocrite. At this time you are fasting. Don't keep on telling everybody. That is hypocrisy. That is sure. You should hide yourself. You should humble yourself before God. And it is not supposed to be announced, even when you are fasting. And I say it when you are fasting, that's when. Like now, we are on our, our third day. This is the tempting, very tempting day. Whereby each and everyone, when I look at you, you are very weak. But the inner man, is getting a lot of energy, a lot of prayer, a lot of life. There is something that is taking place, and that's why you should not do like this hypocrisy did this. And there was one time we went to prayer somewhere there in town, 
And I saw a very big man telling God, Eh, hey, mother, ni do kirore. Ni e jo kira go kodi na asara. Ni ogo kirore ago, boy, si mother, ni. Ne da siga na maroka, na maroka, na mekanye. Na maroka, mother, ni mehakete. She into it. Say it. I'll not associate myself with this nonsense prayers. Anatoka hapo, anasema, Ni e guy, ni e de kereke. De ke ni e johnny. Ni e de ge, de ge, de ge. Toho, toho, toho. And then you join yourself with the people that are praying prayers without revelation. Whenever you fast, God will give you revelation on how to pray. Amen. Whenever you fast, the Spirit of God will come upon your life. Amen. Na atakupatia maneno. De toho, toho fio gai, kegunyo, kegunyo. Because they don't know the word of God. We are fear free and wonderfully made. Imagine sasa unaenda hapo my sister kujiunganisha na mtu anajiita kegunyo toho dada nyiheteo ta dada yo gebe uri enyihaga that is nonsense wake up eat and if you are taking beer the okanywe johi okenore kuliko ukodesha mwili and you are nothing you are remain with the spirit na kwa sababu tumeombeshwa hiyo maombi sana tukiwa wadogo eh hiyo ndio yale fashion da nyihafio tagethega thega mwadan Jokita tadada ya nyede kereke toho 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 I'm not toho I am fear free and wonder free made and I'm 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 God like in the name of Jesus Oh my God ni ni aiga na mahana gai haha na mahana gai na dakata gai na mobeto ta gai gai dia modomure oh hana gai hana gai Yes Hallelujah Amen so let us stop those prayers of hypocrisy, those prayers that of show off. Ata kwa neighbor unamgongea wasikia unaomba. Hallelujah! Goma ishi muadhani, ishi jira ningu ishi muadhani, nedashi mamora. Enda ukakule na ukakunyo. You should humble yourself and don't pray like a hypocrite. Don't drink. There was a church we were fellowship in Geshagi. There was one man we used to worship so much because when he is giving his envelope, and I thank God for those people who gave their tithe, who gave their seed, who gave their offering, who said me money without bringing the whistle, God knows. Because Amen. the moment you brought the whistle, ume wa 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 Alikuwa na shomo angiri. Unaona ile giri ya Kenyatta? Ameipeleka hivi. Ameipeleka hivi. Ameipeleka hivi. And let me tell you. Alipatu wakanisa kama ameanguka na amekufa. Because of show off. Because of show. Even when you are bringing your fast fruit. When you are bringing your tithe. When you are bringing your sight. Don't let anybody, unless you and your prophet, don't grow the weasel. Because your reward, you have already received your reward on earth. But nowadays, because of digital, things are happening with and out, but it is well. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Am I boring? No. Some few minutes. Luke chapter 18, 11 to 12. Luke chapter 18, verse 11 to 12. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men. Aha! Uh -huh. These Pharisees, because he was condemned, they are those who condemn you. Eh, redes are not supposed to preach. Eh, you are not supposed to go before God with the taban, without the taban. And maybe that taban is full of bug. That taban is full of so many. God overlooked the heart. God does not Look your outward appearance. Remember Samuel, when he was about to anoint the house of Jesse, he used to look the outward appearance, but God overlook your heart. I may wear a mini skirt, although I'm not going to wear, but when God look at my heart, my heart is so pure and clean, and happy at the pure in heart, for they shall see God. That Pharisee who was being accused, his prayers was answered, because once we are praying, First and foremost, humble yourself. Humble yourself. And if possible, approach God with a song. Demwe here. Demwe ya na wanyona. He there with 
So why? No, to go like that. Tell me, are you fear? Are you fear? I'm more than you. More than I'm more than you. 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 Adulterers, or even as these oh, tax collectors. Thank you for honoring. Aki people are following. We are almost 250. Amen. Tell God to bless them. Amen. Kaidre, open your phone. Thank and you, see. Jesus. Just open and see how good God is. We bless you, our followers. Amen. Thank you for the backup. Amen. Thank you for the Q and Mukonao ya Mungu. May God see you through this year. Amen. See you through this month. Thank you for encouraging us Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh -huh. I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as these tax collectors. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Can you imagine? Hypocrite. He was telling God, but we are going to see a prayer of that man who was not, and that's why you see, so many people who are not born again are blessed than born again because they are deeds and they are doings. Look at Cornelius. Cornelius was not born again. Even he was not spirit filled. He was even uncircumcised. But because of his prayers, whenever Cornelius was praying, he used to cross his house and he could not pray without a sacrifice. And that's why God is telling me, your sacrifices had become a memorial before my eyes. But as we pray with Ibasaida, we do everything with the emptiness. I command the spirit of emptiness. Look at poor, poor Peter. Peter was very poor. And that's why eh, at the beautiful gates, there was a Akiwete there. And Peter confessed, see you find the God, imagine. There are some places whereby the Spirit of God will not work. You need to have silver justification. Many Christians are full of justification. Silver and gold, I do not have. Why don't you have and you are walking? Can somebody, can somebody understand what Bishop has said? And that's why many Christians are poor. Because they don't believe in God who can bless. And if they are given, they are very stingy. This is the year to break the spirit of stage. Amen. Don't your people see you find God. That was Peter. Because from the one he was poor. And he imposed himself a spirit of poverty. Am I talking? Oh, yes. I got in that revelation yesterday night. Why was he saying so? I look at him again. I saw him now. He was asked about it, the tax. He is going to Jesus. You... Amen. Washmen wa ukumuri pange. Mambo ya ukumu fanyange. Na ondoa yo roho ya pita kwa jina. Even God I don't have. But in the name of... And he woke and he went. That man at that time was in need of kavesha. There are times you will find people they don't need the prayer. They don't... They want you to give them food. So that wapende mungu wako. Mungu wakupatie pesa. Amen. Na mungu wa mfanya mjikubali. Amen. Na umu waka mkatayo madhabahu ya dire, dire, dire. I repeal that spirit. Jesus name. Between me and poverty. Who are you? Who gave poverty a room to you? Why do you pay rent for poverty? Lulu, ifungie na itoke kwa it. Sema buwana yesu. Buwana yesu. Kutoka leo. Kutoka leo. Sita kuwa nalipia. Sita kuwa nalipia. Roho ya umaskini. Roho ya umaskini. Kitanda. Kitanda. Nyumba. Nyumba. Sita tembea na wewe tena Nimechoka nime Because this year tumeambio Once you fail, we fast We break the yoke Amen. We remove the burden Amen. That kind of a burden oh, of yes. poverty I address it in, in the name Jesus of Jesus name. Siku yenye utachoka na kusemanga Dire, dire, dire Dio mungu atakubaliki Amen. Who to do during fasting Number one Pray every Thessalonians 5, verse 17. First Thessalonians 5, 17. Pray without ceasing. Number two, give sacrifice to the house of God. Share with the needy. Give shelter. I thank God this year. I've given one of our pastors a shelter because I cannot afford 
my God to go through shame when I am well able. Clap for me. That one, I have done it. Give a shelter. Give sacrifice to the house of God. Share with the needy. Give shelter to the homeless. And also help those of your family who have nothing. Isaiah 58, from verses 6, 11, as we wind up, lead for us as we wind up. I want to read this, the grace of fasting. You will not fast like other years. You will not come Wednesday the way you used to come other Wednesdays, prayers and deliverance. This is a fast Wednesday. A, a, a Wednesday of a vow and a Wednesday of writing down uh, that thing has been bringing, making you to come every Wednesday in Aondoka Kwa Jina Raesu. Amen. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 58 verse 6 to 11. This is the kind of fasting I want. Free those who are wrongly imprisoned. Lighten the burden of those who work for you. Let the oppressed go free and remove the chains that bind people. Share your food with the hungry and give shelter to the homeless. Give clothes to those who need them and do not hide from relatives who need your help. Then your salvation will come like the dawn mm -hmm. and your wounds will quickly heal. Hallelujah. Your godliness will lead you forward. Amen. And the glory of the Lord will protect you from behind. Amen. Then you will call and the Lord will answer. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am here. Mm -hmm. He will quickly reply. Mm -hmm. Remove the heavy yoke of oppression. Mm -hmm. Stop pointing your finger and spreading vicious rumors. Mm -hmm. Feed the hungry. Mm -hmm. Help those in trouble. Mm -hmm. Then your light will shine out from the darkness. Mm -hmm. And the darkness around you will be as the bright as noon. The Lord will guide you continually, mm -hmm. giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden and like an ever-flowing spring. Praise be the name of God. That is the kind of fasting that God in heaven is looking for. You may intend to go for 21 but once you follow the principles of God, there was a time last year we went to Kataroni. I had an issue, and I had an issue, and the issue was very burning. I call Leveret immediate, Leveret Royce. How many were we? Pastor Flores, he left the husband and everything because I had an issue, and it was very urgent, and it was bad. Me, when I went to Kataroni, the first thing I saw there, it was an finished project. They were building church toilets, and it was looking. And I went there, I touched it. And I told God, God, this is a vow that I want to make. If you, f if you fight for me this battle, I am going to finish this toilet, no matter how much. And I did a prayer. And we went for a service. And I asked, how much is needed? A am I lying? And I was told, this is the amount which is needed. After removing that money, even before, before even I go, because the same, same money is the money God gave me. And I give it to church. Before we go to service, because kuna kuaga na service ya jioni. Was miracle done? Was it not done? I was looking and I was asking, what am I seeing? What is this? After making, after making, let this church. Don't be familiar to this altar. Don't be familiar. Don't be comfortable. And you said in Israel. It is our higher time to make a vow for your only benefit. It is our higher time to look for the needy. It is our higher time to share our bread. Kama kwako unanunuanga mkate, usikose kununua kwa sababu munafunga. Nunua na ugawie watu. Peana manguazire mzuri. Usikue na kiroho. Uwe na roho ya kusamehea. Kwa sababu kuna watu ata saisi mumebemba ya Christmas. Before you fast, pour your heart before God. Nani anawesa akapada mlima wabuana, Pastor John? 
mtu alia na mikono misavi na anda udeversize even if we are giving you direction kindly examine your prayers with the Isaiah 58 and tell God whenever you want me to separate with for your sake because I know if that thing will part away God will take initiative because he is our God close your Bible notebook stand on your feet I don't have much to say but I want to anoint you so that as you continue with the prayers you take that by you take that scripture you examine yourself and you fight yourself this is the area of weak, my weakness this one lord i have passed this test this one lord not really help me you write them down you combine them you make them as your prayer pray and god said by doing that his light will shine upon you in the name of Jesus. Nyosha mikono yako kwa madhabahu. Sijate. Moto unatokanga kwa madhabahu. Ninataka kuashiria neema ya maombi. Baba watu wako wamekusanyika mahali hapa. Wengine wamekuwa na shughuli tofauti. Wengine wamepeleka watoto shule. Wengine hawana tegemeo wala tumaini baba yetu. And you have given us an answer. Lord, I know there are those who are not going to finish 21 days. Once if they follow and they obey, they nearly fasted for us. They nearly prayed for us. Jesus, you raised an altar in the wilderness to intercede for us. We are going to obey. We are going to follow the instructions and the teachings of your servant according to, 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 to the holy word of God. Give them grace. Grace to overcome. Give them wisdom, knowledge. Them that are going through attack, let those attacks come to an end. Bring me the anointing. Let fresh anointing come upon you. Just come. Anointing to understand the word of God. Because there are those who read the word of God like a novel. Even when you read it, you don't have understanding. You cannot get revelation. In the mighty Simama Hapa I release the grace that I carry in the name of Jesus. As you continue praying and fasting, may the Spirit of God rest upon you. Na shiria roho wa Bwana akashuke juu yako. Na shiria roho wa Bwana akakusaidia katika jina la Yesu. Unaboroba neno na unasoma neno la Bwana ukapate ufunduo the grace of the wilderness to be upon you. I come against the temptation of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus, more grace in the name of Jesus. More anointing in the name of Jesus. I release that anointing to be upon you. Whatever has been fighting you, may this anointing fight it. May you may, may your morning come in the mighty name of Jesus. More grace to seek God. More grace to see God in the name of Jesus. I release grace upon your life. I release a revelation in the name of Jesus. I release the anointing in the name of Jesus. I release the anointing in the name of Jesus. Vifungo za kiukoo ambazo zimekufunga katika jina la Yesu I lift your burden I decree